Well, maybe one more thing to to get on the table before we look at some philosophical issues here is this term of art in the many worlds theorist lexicon, which is quantum decoherence and how it relates to the actual the branching of the many worlds that gives the theory its its alternative name. I can go first there and then David can maybe fill in because um, I'm, I'm the big fan here of decoherence and how the role that it plays in many worlds. I think, you know, there's a step, the crucial step in in Everett's argument that says, and we're allowed to consider all of these different parts of the wave function as separate worlds, right? And he gave it a, a justification for saying that, but it's a little bit different than our current justification. In fact, he even used the words the environment and you know and we he said that observers become entangled with their environment but he just didn't develop the theory as as well as it is now it was in 1970 that Hans Dieter say really started talking about decoherence which is basically the idea that once you have a quantum mechanical macroscopic system right like something bigger than an electron that is in what we would think of as a superposition of different macroscopic um, arrangements like a pointer pointing to spin up or spin down or a cat being alive or dead or anything like that, it's instantly going to bump into the rest of the world, the photons in the room, the air molecules, et cetera, the environment as we call it. And that is decoherence. The fact that macroscopic systems and even some microscopic ones very rapidly become entangled with their environment and therefore in the full quantum mechanical description the part of the wave function where the macroscopic system is doing one thing and the part where it's doing something else because they've been entangled with different states in the environment, that's why they will never interact with each other ever again. That's the process called decoherence. It's what guarantees that we're allowed to treat these different parts of the wave function as different worlds. It's You, you might think of this process of environmental decoherence as sort of What's erecting the barriers between these um, between these various different things that Everett is referring to, or or that people in this tradition refer to as different worlds? Um, um, and it's what um, it's what makes it sensible, or it's a necessary condition of what makes it sensible to talk about them that way as as separate things that that aren't going to affect one another that aren't going to be visible to one another so on and so forth and i'm sorry if this is a naive question but is there a proposed sort of mechanism for the splitting or the branching of worlds that occurs with measurement or yeah. is that okay there is there, i mean for you know it uh, in some it's but it's the schrodinger equation it's not um um it's not it, it, it's just a matter of looking at what the Schrodinger equation is going to tell you happens. And you're going to get a branching structure out of the Schrodinger equation itself. This is what Everett initially noticed. There are going to be questions about why. So the branching structure, you just get immediately out of Schrodinger's equation and you get it, um, 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 you get it without even considering the interaction of the system with its larger environment it was that that was supposed to be mysterious that is you get this branching structure what the schrodinger equation tells you is that you've got a superposition of one branch in which this electron spin was up and the observer saw it up and another branch in which the electron spin was down and the observer saw it as down that branching structure you get right out of the schrodinger equation there is a question about why we shouldn't be worried about these two branches interacting and becoming aware of one another in ways that we're not used to occurring in our in our laboratory life when when we do such measurements. Um, that's that you know. The explanation of that is what you get by including also the environment in the in the system you're considering but once again the mechanism is just the schrodinger equation